We're on the eve of um, the High Holy Days, and I uh, extend to you all uh, heartfelt blessings and good wishes for Ishana Tova, a year of health, uh, happiness, and uh, a peace. Uh, God has granted us another year. He has sustained us. Uh, we're grateful. And this is a time uh, when we uh, really reconnect with intensity uh, in prayer uh, with uh, the Almighty. Uh, Rosh Hashanah is known as the Jewish New Year, but actually it's uh, uh, really it celebrates the, uh, the creation of the world. Uh, Passover is the Jewish New Year, when we gain our independence as a people. Uh, but uh, uh, what Rosh Hashanah tells us that uh, we are part of all humanity and concerned about the well-being and welfare of all humanity. It's a time for introspection. It's a time in search for, uh, for meaning and purpose of our life. And uh, the, the theme is uh, Chaim, life. But not a, uh, an empty life, a, a life that uh, is, is, is God-centered. So it's a time to reconnect, and it's a time really to uh, uh, strengthen our belief and our faith uh, in the merciful Father. That's one aspect of the High Holy Day. The uh, other important aspect is a, the relationship uh, that uh, we're urged to have with our fellow man. So in the uh, the prayer of uh, grace that we recite after uh, a meal. Uh, we pray benim uh, We should find favor, not only in the eyes of God, but also in the eyes of man. So it's a question of uh, building relationship. When we stand uh, before the Lord, we don't just stand as individuals. We stand as uh, a community, uh, as a people, a Jewish people. Uh, with a mission and, and, and destiny of uh, tikkun olam, of perfecting an imperfect world. Technology has uh, made enormous progress, and we can connect with millions of people throughout the world. Well, that's really a, a challenge, uh, because while technology has advanced, bringing uh, millions of people uh, in contact with one another, uh, there's also a, a, a negative aspect to it. The negative aspect that uh, we have lost the, the personal, the intimate relationship. And so we need to use technology as a tool to strengthen personal relations, not as a substitute. Uh, when you uh, send an email or a text message to a friend in a hospital, that does not take the place of a personal visit. Uh, when you uh, uh, visit a mourner, that personal touch gives so much comfort and so much strength. It cannot be done with an email or text message. Not even Skype will do. So we have become too busy uh, to, uh, to relate to one another in terms of the intimacy and the personal relationship. And we're just satisfied with the impersonal texting. Uh, I believe that's a, a great loss. And um, this should be a re resolution for the High Holy Days. Uh, just as we are not going to text a message to God, but it will be a, an I and thou relationship where we want to feel close and feel his friends. Uh, so in the relationship with our family, with our friends, with our children, with our grandchildren, uh, more personal visits, contact, that should be the order of the day. Wish all of you a Shana Tova, may it be a year of peace, above all, fulfillment, a year where we will experience a Chaim Shal Bracha, a life of blessing, a Chaim Shal Shalom, a life of uh, peace, peace of mind, peace of heart, and above all, uh, peace uh, in Israel. Amen.